Hi, we're here with Charge Bikes at the Centre for Additive Layer Manufacturing in Bristol. Uh, we're looking at a new process for basically printing titanium bike components. Uh, they're doing some dropouts for their new cyclocross bikes, so let's go inside and have a look how the machine's getting on. The basic process operates by taking a, a three-dimensional CAD model um, and with the software tool slicing that CAD model into a series of very fine layers. Those layers are then um, interpreted by a machine um, and a laser and essentially we start by laying out very fine layers of powdered material across a bed, taking that layer information, a uh, laser melts selectively areas of the powder bed. Then we spread a fresh layer of powder onto the surface, move the, the, the build table down if you like and then remelt the next layer on top and so on and so forth. So we end up recreating the component layer by layer through a, through a fusing of powder. How does that differ and how is it better than just machining the thing out of the building? Uh, well, I mean, the, the key benefits with this technology are uh, because we're just reproducing layer upon layer upon layer, we're able to manufacture components with a much higher degree of complexity. So uh, features that were uh, totally impossible with uh, with conventional machining, for in instance, uh, are now possible with this technology. So, for instance, with the dropout design we have here, it's a completely hollow structure. Uh, it, couldn't, it couldn't be manufactured conventionally by, by any method. The other key benefit is the amount of material we're purchasing. With a machine component, we start with a billet of material, and machine and machine away until we get to the final part. With this process, we're only actually putting the material in that we buy. So that's a big benefit in terms of wastage, in terms of scrap. So we've finished the build now, and all you can see is just the very, very top of the dropouts just poking out of the titanium powder. Yeah. So Andy's going to get it out now. Uh, we're all going to stand back because he's wearing a lot of safety equipment. So basically the parts built are for support scaffold. Yep. Uh, and these are all kind of like a breakaway support structure that's, that's kind of semi-dense, uh, has defined break points. So first, first things first, we need to stress relieve the parts in an oven. Um, so we use a heat treatment cycle to, to relieve any residual stress that's left in the component. Uh, then we can remove the parts from the supports. So these are going into the oven now. So they're going to be uh, stress relieved in there. Pull back and we'll... Uh... Have to see how they, how they perform in a, in a real life situation.